Well, good morning. Alana and I are back at it in the Adirondacks, and actually, we have been at it for a little bit. Yeah. We left the hotel this morning. I meant to update you there, but uh, there was some food trucks making some deliveries and things like that, so I didn't. We've been on the road. We're actually backtracking what we did yesterday. We've come all the Just way up the bit. Olympic Scenic Byway, or 86, back into Wilmington, New York. And that's because we kind of want to follow the river and the waterway all the way back doing little hikes and little things. Yep. When we originally came here, there was no plan. The reason there was no plan is literally there's just <laughs> so much to do yes. that we didn't feel like we needed one. We felt like we could just play it by ear right. and see what the day brought us. That's exactly what we're doing now, so join us for that journey. baby All right, well, quick check-in, and I'm really pushing the Rode Wireless Go mic to its limits. It is super, super windy up here, so hopefully you can hear this. Uh, we are now at the top of Whiteface Mountain, and uh, what a cool little hike. It's only about a fifth of a mile, yep. but the whole, to get up to this point, once you get to the castle, you can drive to the castle, and then from the castle to this point uh, is up a good bit of climb. You can do the math on the two pieces of B-roll where I showed us starting and then getting to the top, or actually I'll, I'll put the feet down below climb. A lot of steps, a little bit of a scramble in some yes. spots, but uh, I've seen some people that aren't super sure-footed still, still making it even yep. in a very windy day. Uh, the drive to get up here was $40 for us. It, it's like $20 for a person and a vehicle and then $20 each person. So why not just call it $20 a person? Yeah. Yeah, it was a little weird. So anyway, it was $40 to get up here, but absolutely well worth it. Yes. We actually had flagged this as a to-do yes. while we were here, and then we forgot about it. So we stopped at the visitor center down in Wilmington, yes. and uh, that's I would recommend that anytime you're traveling and you're just kind of overwhelmed. There really is some value there. They usually have some flyers and things to do. And while they were closed, it's even better if people are there to kind of give you some yeah, guidance yeah, yeah. specific to the type of activities you're looking for. But for us, just remembering, oh yeah, we were going to go to the top of Whiteface 
mountain. Yep. So uh, we did that. We do have storms rolling in, so we've yes. got to go back down because this little lady here lost uh, lost her rain jacket. Yes. We, we're not sure where it went somewhere on the trip, so we got to get know. another rain jacket so we can keep hiking because uh, I do think storms are going to roll in here in another couple of hours. Now, while that sucks for the weather, uh, it's usually better for bugs, and I think it'll do work well. It could work well with some photography this afternoon yes. as well. So anyway, we're going to head back down the mountain. I'll catch some B-roll of that, and then we'll see you at our next stop. All right, well, we just wrapped up the Flume Trail, uh, or at least a section of Part it. Part of it, yeah. Uh, yeah, a section of it. And now we are starting the High Gorge Trail area. The That's Flume the Trail falls. and all those High Falls area. High falls. So anyway, the Flume Trail and everything, that was completely free. This is all private, uh, so it's not. We ended up paying here. This is another close to 40. What was it, $36 30? with tax yeah. for the two of us? And they expect us to spend about a half hour to an hour on average. So there you go. We'll have to see if it's worth it uh, with our time or not. The very last footage you saw was the storms have kind of been coming and fizzling, coming and fizzling. And we don't know whether we're going to get wet on this one or not. So I've packed the shower cap for the Z6. And uh, this one got rain jacket. is waterproof. We got our rain jackets. We've been wearing our very hot rain pants all yes. day. So uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we'll have this place to ourselves. Maybe. Here we go. Well, we made it all 30 feet before it started raining. <laughs> so, there you go. Shower cap, rain suit. We're doing it anyway. So, you know, I'm more of a spreader than a melter, if you catch the old reference. Yes. We'll see.
to try to get you caught up mm. now high falls gorge yes that was very fun mm -hmm. um we ended up being there for about 40 minutes 45 yeah, 40 minutes 40 to 50 minutes um yeah. We were we were moved along a little bit because rain. of the rain, but I, I think you would probably smash that out in about an hour unless you did the wildlife trail. The nature trail. The nature trail, yeah. <laughs> Close. <laughs> I don't really know what that's all about, but uh, it didn't seem like a great place it's for About that. a mile. So we bounced, yeah. and we are now where? Uh, Saranac Lake. That's where we're at. And we are in a hotel again. We were actually in Hotel Saranac, yep. which was America's first brick hotel oh. 1925 was it was built which is kind of really cool it's old we just found out reading all the history about it there's a little yep. bit of paranormal stuff that's got us yes. more than freaked out because <laughs> that wasn't uh but that they was, assured us that they they're are, happy ghosts they're happy ghosts it's yeah. happy ghosts <laughs> anyway i'm sure we will be just fine um so yeah anyway cool little town uh tomorrow we are headed off towards robert h something state Thurman? park Thurman. robert h thurman state park we are camping tomorrow yes and then yeah you know what that's enough that's let me good. show you the town and then i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> Well, we need to get you caught up because we are four and a half hours south and west of where we left you last night. We are now on the eastern finger, the, tip, the southern tip of the eastern finger yes. lake, uh, Cayuga. We think it's Cayuga. We yeah. would pronounce that a little differently in Ohio, but we think it's Cayuga Lake. Uh, and we are at Buttermilk Falls yes. State Park. And the footage that you have just seen uh is of our hike down along the falls so we parked up actually up on the top yep. and we have been hiking down the gorge loop and then as soon as i leave you i'm going to be hiking up the rim loop now we've pretty much come straight down 500 feet and yeah. it is three quarter mile of just fall cascade straight, yeah. fall cascade fall cascade <laughs> it's really 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 pretty epic yes. wouldn't you agree oh yeah so was our drive even though i didn't share it with you we decided let's not do video let's just enjoy this drive as we kind of move through the countryside and other than getting through syracuse it's really the only time yes. we touched highway everything else was kind of on we stayed on uh still on the olympic um yep. the olympic trail scenic byway yeah the scenic byway trail uh route three we did yes. 3a back to three and kind of along that way and it's been really great so far yep. we're going to be camping pretty close here and i think i'm going to have a whole lot more footage and things to share like just like what you saw all right, well, I'm going to hush up and I'm going to pack everything up because it's now 500 feet and three quarter mile back to the truck. So I'm going to put everything away and I'll show you all the photos I took on my way down. Here they come.
Okie doke, it's time to get you all caught up again. We are now at camp in full setup at, I forget, Robert. Robert H. Treeman State Park. Robert H. Treeman outside State Park. Ithaca. Yeah, it's just outside of Ithaca. Really, it's just a few minutes down the road from um, the Buttermilk Falls okay. State Park yeah. that we were just at. Uh, hopefully you can hear everything okay. The campground's starting to fill up for the big Memorial Day weekend that is this weekend. You can hear people chopping firewood and uh, kids are here. It's kind of exciting. This campground, the sites are pretty spread out. Yeah. So uh, I think even if it fills up, um, well, it's a good place to still yeah. still deal with a little bit of social distancing but get things going again. And uh, it's kind of nice to hear the sounds of camping and some sense of normalcy. Yes. Uh, what a great day. What you saw footage of was after we left Buttermilk Falls State Park and that area, we then went over to? Tuganuck. Tuganuck? Tuganuck. 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 We think that's right, State <laughs> Park. If we hacked it, you know what, <laughs> I apologize. Right. I will put in text down below how it's how it's spelled and what it is. <laughs> really, it's the super tall falls that we walked to. I yeah. did, we also then drove up to the upper as well. Yes. It's right at two miles out and back for the lower view. Mm -hmm. Uh, it took us quite some time timing wise, but that's because I spent a huge amount of time waiting for a cloud to roll by because of some hot spots in the sun. Uh, but it, it's really, it's really quite pretty. Yes, and uh, nice even if walk. it was hot, the, the way all the mist yeah. is kind of in the air, there's kind of a cool breeze running yep. down through there. Speaking of cool breeze, um, we did set the, the heater up again for yep. tonight because I'm anticipating it to get pretty cool. We're thinking down to 42 degrees. Mid, mid to low 40s. But the other thing is uh, we're going to need to tear campsite uh, pretty quick Barely to early. get out of here because we do have some weather moving in. Yes. So uh, anyway, we're kind of prepared for that. I think that's all I have to say. I know this this video has gotten a little long. I think it's time to wrap it up. Yep. I have now shared everything with you with the exception if you're interested in watching us pop up camp, including cooking dinner. Uh, the time lapse is running on another camera right over there and I will play <laughs> it when the outro runs. Yes. So I think that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, we are staying pretty much in this area yes. again for the next two days. Mm -hmm. uh, but tonight after camping, we are wrapping up in a bed and breakfast. Yes. You'll have to catch the next video to hear and check that all that out. But yes. it's uh, we're gonna be spending more time in here. We didn't actually get to do anything in this park, which is really yes. cool. And then we're gonna spend some time over uh, near Watkins Glen yes. and that area, some of which will include just kind of hanging out down around town, checking out some distilleries and things. So yep. anyway, check out the next video, which will be the final in this New England Eastern okay. chip that we've done. And I have some fire mains to yes. do. So with that said, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.